Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Koenig XG12 Pro self-tensioning diamond pattern snow tire chains on our 2022 Nissan Frontier. This is going to be on tire size 265-65R17. Make sure you check the fit guide at eTrailer.com to get the right fit for your tire size. Also, we have them on the rear axle as per our owner's manual. Also, double check that in your case to make sure you're putting it on the right axle for your car. But these chains are essentially going to be really useful for you if you live in an area that gets a decent amount of moderate weather, whether that be some moderate snow or some light ice, and you want chains that are going to give you great coverage and last for a long time, that's going to be these, so let's check out how they work. They do have a diamond pattern, which helps get you that coverage that I just mentioned. Basically, it's going to help you a lot when you're turning. Not going to be quite as noticeable on starting and stopping, but it's going to be more low profile, and you're going to feel it less than a ladder pattern style chain. The links are square, but again, they are low profile, so that square design is going to help you get that bite into that ice and snow that I mentioned. But they are going to be so low profile that they do meet Class S compatibility standards, which basically means if we did have any interference with our wheel well, these wouldn't be an issue. Also up here, you can see that there are these traction plates built in where they intersect. That's going to also help you bust up some of that ice and snow and get you even more traction. The links are made of a manganese nickel alloy, which is going to hold up really well to rust, weather, and corrosion. You're going to be able to get more seasons out of these than you would a low carbon steel chain. Coming down here on the front of the chains, you can see that these are a different color. It's because they have a powder coat finish, not only to protect your tire if they were to interact with anywhere on your rims, but also to protect your hands. If you're out in the cold installing these, your hands aren't going to stick as well to that powder coat as they would to that regular metal. All our connection points are labeled, they're red, easy to see, just like this self-tensioning mechanism here, which is a really nice feature. You don't get this in a lot of tire chains. Normally we'd have to recommend picking up some kind of rubber tensioner to keep the tension in your chains as you're moving. This is going to constantly apply that tension and keep pulling, so if it does shift and loosen up a little bit, this is going to keep pulling on it, so it's all in one system, which makes it really nice and easy to use. The chains do come two to a set in this hard protective nylon outer case, which is really nice. It keeps the chains really compact and secure. Inside, you can see we have the other set of chains. We have our instructions, and we also have some bumpers in here. You, in your case, would just put these on the intersection points where they're rubbing up against the tire just to limit some of that damage. In our case, for just demonstration purposes, we're not going to set that up, but you're more than welcome to if you'd like. On the back side here, we have a little hook and loop patch, so if your interior of your vehicle will allow that to stick to it, just another way to keep the chains in one place and keep them from shifting around while you're driving. So there's a lot of quality of life features built into these chains, one of those being how easy they are to install, so you don't have to get around on the back side of your tire to do anything. Connection points are really easy to find and easy to interact with, so you can check out how we did that right now. To start, we usually just like to lay the chains out flat, just making sure that nothing is caught together, twisted up, or tangled. We want to make sure that we have this gap here in the middle, that's where our tire is going to go, and we want to make sure that the chains are facing the right way. To do that, we'll look at these hoops at the end of each set of links. We want to make sure that this flat side is the side that's going to be contacting the tread of the tire, not these hooks that are on the other end. So as long as we have it face up when we lay the chains out, that's the right way. Another easy way to tell with these chains specifically is if we have this self-tensioning mechanism here. As long as the Koenig side is face down, then we should be good to go as long as everything is laid out flat. From here, we'll send one half of the chains around the back side of the tire. I just like to use this side without the self-tensioning just because that's kind of a longer cable. And if anything is going to get stuck, it'll probably be that. So just put those around the back. Make sure we get everything through that we need to get, including that mechanism is going to catch and then we'll grab one of these ends on either side feed those up around the back to make our first connection on the back side of the tire we'll feed this metal stud right here and do this catch on the other side so just like that see that connection in there and then we can drape the rest of the chains down and around evenly again just making sure that nothing gets caught up or stuck on itself. We'll connect our second connection here using this loose red link. Just fit this into the red hook. Just like that. Everything's color coordinated so it's pretty easy to tell what should be going where. Try to even things out a little bit. 
Come down to the bottom here now for our final connection. We'll feed the self-tensioning cable into this catch right here at the bottom. And then we will, once we get that through, ratchet it backwards towards us. You'll hear it clicking, making those adjustments, getting that tension built in. And then we'll pull the hook down from the mechanism and make this connection just like this. And that's it. Once you have that self-tensioning mechanism all set up, that's really it. Just make sure you get the chains installed on your passenger side tire as well. Even though it will apply that tension, we still recommend rolling forward or backward just a few feet, getting out and checking to make sure everything is secure, then you should be ready to go. Overall, if you don't need a super aggressive pair of tire chains, these are definitely my favorite. The self-tensioning built right in sets these above most of the other chains in this class. Super easy to install. That nickel manganese alloy is going to let them last for a long period of time as well. But if you do need something more aggressive, you can check out something by PWAG. They have larger square links if you need that, or they have some links with V-bars for off-road use if you need something super aggressive. But again, if you do live in an area that gets a decent amount of weather pretty frequently and you want chains that are easy to put on and are going to last you for a long time, it's going to be these Koenig XG12 Pros. This was just a quick look at how they work and how to install them on our 2022 Nissan Frontier.